Brown's family members are frustrated and heartbroken about what happened. Jess Lipson just talked to Brown's mother, and Jess, what did she tell you? Well, Mimi and Eric, Cindy Howard tells me she is heartbroken about the recent events. A lot of her frustration stems from the lack of support from the funeral home while everything was unfolding. Howard lives in Mississippi, where Curtis Brown was born. She saw the story online about a missing body from Collins and Stone Funeral Home, and she knew that was the same place holding her son. She tells me the frustration began when she contacted Collins and Stone for more information, but she says she kept getting disconnected and wasn't given what she felt she needed while speaking with the funeral director, Brandy Collins. Trying to wrap up her, dead, her head around how this could have happened, Howard told me she became upset after losing her son. She wanted them to release his body back to her, and I told them, no, I didn't want my baby to go back over there. But also, I don't know what she would have did to him. Howard now has to figure out how to bring Brown back to Mississippi. Coming up at 9 and 10, hear more from Cindy about how everything unfolded for her hundreds of miles away. Eric?